Hey kids, it's me, Safe to Steve. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you what to do when the threat of a nuclear attack is inbound. First, when you first hear the siren, immediately stop what you're doing. But do not scream. You can run around in circles if you've only had the training to do so. Next, find somewhere to duck. Try not to duck where there is glass or anything sharp as the explosion could destroy these into fragments, stabbing you. A good place to duck is an interior room on the lowest floor of the building, like a sex dungeon. Oh, hello you. Oh, you looking for a good time? Well, I mean, I'm here to show you a good time. We're all here to show you a good time. But I mean, you should stop on by, you know? This place is safe from the nuclear waste. I mean. You should come on down. I mean, I'll show you a good time. You want a good time? <laughs> Just uh, come on by when you uh, want some company. Don't look at the bright flash of the explosion. This flash is about as bright as the sun and can melt your eyeballs out if you look at it. Just duck and cover as fast as you can. When the flash is gone, prepare for the shockwave. You can earn bonus points if you jump over the shockwave, but you haven't leveled up your character far enough to be able to do this. This is why ducking and covering is important. You protect yourself from debris. Once the shockwave has passed, seek shelter immediately. You can be exposed to radiation if you are outside during the explosion. Radiation is great if you want to become a superhero, but I would advise against doing that, as you might get a crappy superpower, like the Midas Touch. Now that you've learned the steps to prepare for a nuclear explosion, let's put you to the test. I have a hydrogen bomb ready to be detonated. You have 10 seconds to prepare. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Unfortunately, you have failed the test. You are no longer needed for Operation Manhattan Project. Agents are on route to your location to retrieve the film immediately. 